Lord God, we thank you and praise you. Thank you, Lord, for all you have done. Thank you, O oh God, for your word on this morning. Lord of God, we pray that in the name of Jesus that your word will go forth. And Father God, and that people, your people will hear your word, apply your word, and also share the goodness of um, uh, your goodness uh, in their life among uh, their family, friends, and co-workers who forever give you the honor, the glory, the praise in the mighty, majestic name of Jesus. And all the people said, Amen. Turn with me, if you will, to Acts chapter 9. Acts chapter 9. And starting at verse 36. And we're going to read down through verses, verse 43. Acts chapter 9, starting at verse 36. And it reads, Now there was at Joppa a certain disciple named Tabitha, Tabitha which, is, which by interpretation is called darkness. This woman was full of good works and alms deeds, which she did. And it came to pass in those days that she was sick and died. Whom they had washed, they laid her in an upper room. And as for as much as Lydia, Lydia uh, was nigh to Joppa, and the disciples had heard that Peter was there, they sent unto him two men, desiring him that he would not delay to come to them. Then Peter arose and went with them. When he was come, they brought him into the upper room, uh, into the upper chamber, and all the windows, all the widows stood by weeping and showing the coats and garments which darkness made, which she while she was with them. But Peter put them all forth and kneeled down and prayed. And turning him to the body said, Tabatha, arise. And she opened her eyes and she saw Peter and sat up. And she, he gave her his hand and lifted her up, and when he had called the saints and widows, presented her alive. And it came to and it was known throughout Joppa, and many believed in the Lord. And it came to pass he tarried many days in Joppa with one assignment a tenor. Those of them here let me hear what the Spirit of the Lord has to say. Now there was at Joppa a certain disciple named Tabatha, Tabitha, which by interpretation called darkness, this woman was full of good works and alms, deeds which she did. And in those days she was sick and died. I want to talk to you from the thought, bad things happen to good people, but God. Bad things happen to good people, but God. We'll find here that uh, Peter, on his uh, mission, on his uh, task, on his ministry uh, that the Lord had uh, sent him on, uh, he, uh, the apostle Peter, is uh, fulfilling uh, the work uh, that the Lord had given him. And, and on his on and while he was yet there in Joppa or in Lida, Lida, that that uh, there was a man there by the name of Aeneas, and Aeneas was one who was uh, paralyzed for eight long years. But yet, when Peter, when the apostle Peter had uh, come to Aeneas' house. Uh, 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 Peter proclaimed and told him that Jesus will make him, Jesus make it the whole and commanded him to arise and take up his bed and immediately Aeneas was made whole. 
So then word has spread around, word has spread around that um, that Peter uh, was there uh, in the Lydda. And, and uh, uh, the work that he did, the work that he did, it, it wasn't so much that uh, Peter had spread the word about any of the anointing or the, the giftings or the healings or how God uses him, but, but uh, uh, the works that Peter had done uh, has spread abroad that he was in town. So what does that suggest to us is that particularly those for whom uh, are used by God, well, rather in what part of the fivefold ministry or in the God of heaven, uh, or what kind of gift that you are, that, that you don't have to go around talking about or bragging about, if you will, the anointing that God had uh, placed on your life or the uh, gifting that God has given you, but, but the works that you do will spread or because everything that we do that we should do it to the glory of God so uh, uh, so word has spread around that that this man Aeneas had been uh, uh, paralyzed for eight years and that um, and that uh, 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 Peter had uh, uh, commanded him to be whole so while yet uh, while yet Peter was in Lydia there was a, a a, a woman by the name uh, Tabitha, uh, Tabitha, that um, uh, she uh, was woman, as uh, the scripture has says, that, that she is a disciple. She was a disciple to where that she did good works and she did um, deeds. So, so she was a disciple of Christ. So what is that saying is now? There is a difference is uh, one as with Peter as being an, an apostle or a leader or this, uh, a leader uh, uh, among that uh, Christ has appointed versus those for whom are disciple. Now disciple is not uh, only do you follow the Lord. So discipleship is not only do you follow the Lord, but also you would do as he commands. So, so a disciple is not only doing, hearing, but they also doing. So, so uh, it is as if, you know what James said, but not only to be here, not only be hearers of the word, but also to be doers of the word. So discipleship, not only that, not only do you uh, uh, have the precepts or the concepts, but you are also uh, going about doing good, all about going about doing the work that God, that Jesus had commanded all of us to do. Now understand this, and this you are a disciple, as we said, that you are doing a work. So it's, it's not so much that you uh, have to go uh, into the preaching ministry or teaching ministry to be doing a, to be a disciple or to be doing a work for Christ and I think I need to dare to say today is that the, 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 the preaching and the teaching ministry nowadays has become more of a trend made by man rather than a call by God. You see but, but when you are and the disciples, uh, as Jesus has listed in, um, as he had listed in uh, Matthew chapter 25, that uh, we say, I was hungry, you fed me. When I was thirsty, you gave me water. When I was in prison, you went to visit me. When I was sick, you came to see me. Those are the, and doing the good works, food packs, feed those who are hungry, or those that, that you need to pray for. Here we have that uh, uh, to that Tabitha, that she was a woman full of good works and alms deeds. She did all that she know how to do. Now, you see, you see, a lot of us, we want to classify good works as, as it uh, uh, relates to the confines of the four walls of our churches. Just because you uh, sing in a choir, say that's good works, and it is. And we, uh, because you serve on the usher board, that's uh, you figure that is good works and it is but that is not all that there is the mission and, and the mission of God for every believer is to go outside of the walls of the 
church as with uh, Tabitha to be about good works. You know what Jesus said. He said, go you therefore into the, all the world and preach and, and teach and make disciples of all nations. And that it is not just for the leaders, but that is for everyone to do because Jesus said that ye are the light of the world. So she was full of good works. She was a disciple. And, and because of her good works and her belief, uh, she was a disciple. And, and because uh, she was a disciple, the Bible says that uh, uh, she had got sick and she had died. So what is that saying? What is that saying is that uh, people, because we are followers of Christ, if you are a disciple of Christ, if you are a leader of Christ, no matter how much anointing you think you have on your life, that does not mean they exempt you from the uh, trials and tribulation of this world. So she was a good word. You, yes, you go to church every Sunday morning. Yes, you give your time. Yes, you go to choir rehearsal. Yes, you go to usher practice. Yes, you do uh, go to visit those who are in prison. Yes, you do go and visit those uh, who are, are sick and those who are homely, homeless. But that does not accept the fact that uh, uh, you are exempt from the trial and tribulation of this world. So she went there. She went uh, She was she took it and she had died. So you could imagine, you could imagine that all her friends and families and uh, 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 that came uh, and got word that this woman of God or this person of God or this follower of Christ had become sick. And contrary to popular belief that just because you are saved, that does not mean you will not get sick. But understand this, understand this, that God, he is a healer. Is there anyone in here that knows that God is a healer? That not only will uh, he heal the body, but he also will raise a person up from the dead. So then, uh, they, uh, uh, so you have doctors here uh, who have taken sick and she ultimately died and, and she was well known. So, so uh, her closest friends and relatives, they had, uh, they washed her up, they put the, the normal uh, Jewish customs, uh, if you will, that they washed her and they uh, put frankincense uh, on her body and, and they and ultimately, they had to go up into the upper room. And I think I need to share notice with you uh, on this morning. And sometimes that's how life is in a different situation that we may have that may bring about uh, uh, death or may bring about uh, a situation or a dream that we may have had may uh, give a faith even unto death. But I tell you, I tell you, just as a, a person died or that vision you may have had or, or any kind of sickness or problems in your body, that does not mean that that is the last of the story. How many of us know that God is never late? How many of us know there is no situation too hard for God? How many of us know that there is nothing impossible for the Lord? You see, they did. They went about in the natural realm and they dressed dark as up and they put her in the upper chamber. But notice, notice what they did here. They, uh, they, they heard about Peter uh, being in Lydia, Lydia, and it wasn't too far from Joppa. And uh, uh, her closest one, they made the summons of uh, Peter to come and uh, uh, see uh, about Lydia because she was well known in the community. Now, it is not said what was their expectation. Maybe all they wanted to, uh, Peter to do as being an, an apostle was to give some encouraging words. They, didn't, they knew that uh, uh, he they got word 
that he uh, had he uh, Aeneas uh, depose him was they expecting uh, uh, or uh, expecting uh, Peter to raise uh, a darkness uh, from the, that deep dark sleep as we have called as being dead uh, or were they just uh, wanting him to give an encouraging word to all those who are around maybe they wanted him uh, if you will to eulogize darkness uh, but I tell you the scriptures does not say one way or the other but the main thing was that they summons him that he will come and uh, come uh, to see about darkness so what is that saying is you know people we need to be around praying people we need to have some praying warriors around us you know they they, they heard of what James had talked about uh, when he said if there's any sick among you to call for the elders and it's good to know there are some around you who are praying who are uh, uh, prayer warriors and I tell you uh, God still have people who are gifted he still has people who have the gift of healing, people who have the work of the miracles, people who have a word of knowledge, people who have a word of wisdom. But, but I tell you, when things seem to be dark and dreary, it's good to have some prayer warriors around you to where they know who to call when it seems like the world is all upside down. So then, uh, they called and they uh, wanted him to come quickly. Uh, because you know, uh, so then Peter got word uh, that uh, uh, darkness, or uh, he has been summoned. And that uh, all, uh, he had went with the men who were uh, going uh, back over to where darkest or uh, to back Tabitha was. So then when we got to the place or in the atmosphere where uh, darkest was, all those who were around her was weeping and wailing. And they were we trying to remember all the great things that she has done. And but when Peter has saw them around and in all for him to do the work of God. That uh, he put all of these around him, all of the naysayers and all of those who were weeping and mourning. And that uh, Peter had to put them all out of the room. And you can imagine and that was one of the things that Peter learned that Jesus had done. You remember when she had to raise Jairus' daughter. And there was people all around her weeping and wailing. And Jesus had put everybody in the You know, sometimes the man or woman of God cannot move in the things of God because there are too many mourners around. There are too many naysayers around. There are too many faithless people who are around. Sometimes you need to move some of those people out of your life. If you are looking for God to 
to move in your life. You have to move some of the faithless people out of the way. Because without faith, it is impossible to please the Lord. But maybe that's why so many of you haven't received And that's why uh, some of you uh, haven't received uh, your financial blessing. It's because uh, there are so many people uh, who don't believe uh, that God uh, owns uh, a thousand cattle uh, on the hill. Uh, so then uh, uh, Peter, he said, uh, oh, Arise, 
remember about our Miracle Monday and remember uh, and remember about our uh, Bible study. Uh, and as we always have to pray, pray for the ministry. Pray for our world. Pray for everything that is going on. And I, I and it's just one of my firm beliefs that if we didn't have so many churches and so many people in the body of Christ doing the things of the world, I don't believe we have so much stuff going on. Because there's a lot of stuff that's going on in these churches that should not be going on. Lord God, we thank you, we praise you, we give you the glory, honor, and the praise. Thank you, oh God, for being so kind and righteous in our lives. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just come to uh, this morning. Thank you, praise you, oh God, that you have the last word in any situation that we have. Lord God, we pray for uh, all these who are here, and uh, we pray, oh God, that as we depart from this place, they through dispatch our angels to watch over us, oh God, and be forever. Give you honor, glory, and praise in the mighty and the majestic name of Jesus. And all the people say, Amen. Amen. Right here. 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 Right here.